was a child I always liked to be the family medic and you know bandage people up and I had this like curiosity of how the body could talk to us without speaking through signs and I always found that intriguing. I just enjoy getting to know those people and learning their stories really which is um, I think probably the most important thing about becoming a health professional in any area, getting to know the people and I think I am a people person, I think that's probably why I got into it. Um, you get to take blood pressures, you know, all that hands on stuff, it's just really cool. You see it on ER, you see it on Grey's Anatomy and you're actually doing it. It's pretty awesome, you're going to be a doctor, it's a really, really cool feeling to have. Every day you go to school you learn something that's fascinating. You know, you learn about how cells migrate and then perform a certain function or you learn how hormones and chemicals in the body react to, to cause something and for me that's just amazing. You know you get to sit in and watch heart surgery, you can see someone's heart beating in their chest. You get to watch brain surgery and you know that kind of thing excites me. I've found that especially in the MAPAS program you come quite close with um, the other Māori and Pacific, you know your peers and because they've got the same goals, um, most of them are going through the same challenges. Um, so it's real good to, to make those friendships and those bonds. It's got me involved in like conferences like we are here at the moment for Lyme and Prideoc and just sort of meeting fantastic, um, inspiring people and they really kind of give you a sense of what, you, what, um, what you're out to do and achieve for our people. There's definitely a lot of challenging aspects about medicine. It's, there is so much knowledge, so much information to try and grasp and get hold of and retain. So the challenges for me would definitely be first year down, coming from so much family orientation uh, and 19 years of being in one place and having all your connections made, all your families there. Coming down to Newcastle with no family was such a big shock for me. Academically medicine is quite a, a course that will stretch you um, and takes up a lot of your time um, but I think all the those challenges are nothing when you're doing something that you really enjoy and it makes it worth it and you know that at the end you're going to get to go home. Just the general workload um, is a challenge because there's so much to learn, so much to remember, um, but it's doable. Otago University has an amazing support systems for Māori students. On the first day of O Week we have a pōwhiri um, where all the first year students are invited to come along. Um, and we are welcomed to Naitahu land <laughs> um, and then from there you basically can't get rid of the Māori Centre. <laughs> so we've got Auntie Pearl, she looks after us and makes sure we go along to our tutorials. So we have academic support, we have social support, um, we have Tsurupu Māori which is the Māori Students Association and they make sure that we have a whānau away from home and it's just a place you can go and you know the people there are like-minded people and are going to support you and just have a yarn cup of tea and those small things I don't think people realise how important they are um, especially when you're far away from home. There's the Koori Centre which help Indigenous students in all sort of aspects um, with study spaces, um, equipment, counselling, tutoring, um, that's for the whole of the university but we do have an Indigenous ed education unit which sort of focuses uh, particularly on um, our side, the Indigenous um, medical side of things and I do get a fair bit of support from them. I can go and chat to them anytime I need. Becoming part of AIDA is probably one of the best things I've actually done because it's, it's enabled me to network uh, with our people, my people and like-minded people and it's just been really, really great. Looking at me today, I'm not a product of just all my hard work. It's the support and encouragement from family, um, from the university, from Wallatooka that has gotten me this far. I've also just become a bit more confident in getting out there and um, putting my views across, especially to do with health. It's made me grateful for a lot of things because um, when you see people who, um, who don't have good health, um, you realise how lucky you are to, to be in good health. And I think it's also humbled me a bit to be able to, to know that I'm going to be able to help those people um, to, to take control of their own health and make good health choices, not just for them, but also for their families um, and the wider community. I would say if you're thinking about it and you're keen to do it, just give it a crack. Like I, for a long time, thought uh, I probably don't have the ability to study or I didn't um, feel like maybe I could put the effort in that I wanted to, but you may not be you may not feel that it's the right time for you right now, but if at some point 
you do have an inkling or you do feel a bit of a drive to go for it, definitely go for it because if you, 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 know, you don't want to look back you know, a few years down the track and just go, oh, I wish I'd done that. So if you really want to give it a crack, give it a crack. Thank you.